Hello my friends, here we are again, esteemed colleagues. I was asked to talk about malnourishment, actually uh, about anorexia, skinny people, why some people remain skinny and cannot gain weight, because usually we are talking the opposite, we are talking about obesity and how to reduce the weight. Well, uh, majority problems, why do we get skinny? Because uh, calories are low. Now, big problem uh, is absorption. You can eat well and often, plentiful, and you remain skinny simply because you are not absorbing the nutrients. Now, what could be caused by this? I mean, what can cause this? Um, inflamed intestines, parasites, and the wrong diet. Now, what do I mean by wrong diet? Well, mis misconception. We think that fruits are our food and fruits are pure cellulose with little juice zero calorie little bit sweetness from fructose it's a touch of fructose and since fructose is very sweet we think oh, wow a lot of sugar nah touch of fructose so definitely not even enough to run the digestive system so you actually lose weight rapidly if you try to nourish yourself on fruits. Uh, the best example are the bears. They are not aggressive in the spring when they are skinny, they are not aggressive in the summer, they are still skinny, but they become very aggressive in fall when uh, berries and fruits start because when they eat them they get very, they get very hungry. Okay, the, Simply, our body, our brain loves the sweetness and it wants to accelerate the metabolism. But what happened is that there is no uh, caloric value. There is nothing in the fruits that will bring you energy. It's all pure cellulose. So, we get skinny thinking that we are eating. Same happens with vegetables when they are raw. The only thing is that vegetables are protected with their uh, phytotoxins, so the animals do not eat them, and uh, they cause inflammations, usually in, uh, of intestines. And uh, of course, I mention often cellular hydration, they just stop it. So, if you are vegan or fruitarian and if you don't eat at least starches, processed, cooked, forget about raw banana. Raw banana is a fruit and again it's pure cellulose unless you break the cellulose. Well, then it's a different story. You cook it, you heat it up over 55 degrees for some time and pew, all the cellulose bursts and then it becomes food but it feeds you with pure glucose empty calorie reprograms your your genetics it does fiasco in the body so of course we are going to be skinny now Besides parasites, which can also interfere with your absorption, then there is a problem of your mind. Not your brain, your mind. Uh, it was very popular till recently uh, for all the uh, industry of uh, movies and music and uh, um, all this fashion 
fashion shows. It was all rigged to skinny people. So to maintain the low weight, low weight, they would, after eating, stick finger up the throat and vomit out. Well, remember that our brain is responding on repetition. So you keep doing this, you are actually programming your brain. Until one day, you don't even have to stick your finger, you just eat and you start vomiting because you have programmed your brain. Every time you eat, you vomit, eat, vomit, eat, vomit, bingo. You have trained yourself. Now, it is always easier, much easier to train yourself to do something that you had not experienced before, then later on to untrain yourself, to train yourself differently. Because brain now, you have, you have created a program that your brain is now following subconsciously. Now consciously you want to stop it, well, good luck. It is tough, tough job. Um, sometimes diseases in the body uh, cut the appetite and it's very difficult then to restart it. Your stomach shrinks if for a while you haven't eaten much and you basically do not want to eat. And especially now with this righteous brainwashing of uh, feeling sorry for animals and uh, who gives a damn about plants, but you know, sorry for animals, then we start depriving ourselves from the correct diet. Uh, I'm vet. I love animals. I joke very often when they ask me, well, do you like uh, this and this and I said, yeah, especially on a grill. But those are jokes. Of course I love animals. But you will see where you come with your thinking once when you are starving for food. Okay, so we, are, we have created this program for our experience, so until we reprogram ourselves, which now we are just about to do, this is our reality. And there is no good and bad. It's a program that we have to follow. We all die. We don't want to die, but we all die. It's the same thing. It is different when you purposely are torturing something then the creature suffers, but more than the creature, you suffer, which you may not be aware of. If you are not aware of it, you are gone. You are gone. Your soul is way dislodged from your, from your, from your spirit. So, Sometimes when we are on this psychological level that we just cannot hold the food and we, or we just don't absorb it because we have trained ourselves not to, then it is very difficult to repair this. And uh, one of the easiest way to do so is to be hypnotized, to go into deep hypnosis and be reprogrammed through hypnotic state. This very often works, depend on, depends also on uh, the, the a human that hypnotizes you, how well they know their job, because sometimes deep hypnosis is necessary. But as well, we can talk to our cellular structure so we can give directions. And uh, again, it's manifestation. So we can overcome things once when we become aware of them. So once when you know that uh, you have been destroying your life by forcing vomiting and now you cannot hold anything as soon as you start eating, you vomit. Well, you know now that this is subconscious reaction 
of programmed brain and you can reprogram it back to normal. One of the ways is to start having very small amount of food. Just, just one little thing, swallow it, wait a little bit, then you swallow something else, wait, and slowly build up. Um, it is very important to understand that the only food that is meant for us to use that will nourish us is the food that we can eat raw and it will nourish us and it will not leave any negative consequences. I have very often uh, comments being put, oh, you know so much and you still eat animals. Well, this is because I know so much. Um, it's all about frequency and program that we have set in. And we come with a basic program, preset. And this is what the newborn consumes. It's a milk. What is mother's milk? It's water, minerals, fats, a bit of sugar, glucose, proteins. You don't see any vegetable, you don't see any fruit in there. Because this is not what we should be eating. And mothers that eat incorrectly, they are already poisoning their children in a womb. This is one, one why when child is born and start actually eating, drinking the milk, all of a sudden there may be diarrhea, vomiting, because it was in a womb, it was reprogrammed on the stupid carbs and when it comes out <laughs> ah, no carbs but there comes all the other stuff so it has to cleanse and this is cleansing remember diarrhea vomiting fever this is cleansing let it go let it do its job if a baby reacts like this give them some uh, sea salt in a, in, with the water and let them drink it, dilute it, take some mother's milk in there, mix it or just add a little bit of sea salt in mother's milk and in tetero and, and, uh, and uh, let, them, let them drink it to speed up the detox and then it will be fine and then will be another episode when they start eating formula again because now again, sugar comes in, carbohydrates, pew! again, burping, vomiting, diarrhea. Because we are again screwing up with digestion. And not only digestion, with a whole programming, genetic programming. Everything has to change to accommodate now sugar as a fuel. Because it was never meant to be fuel. We have it only to create so we can make amino acids. So, we have to learn the truth. And this goes for doctors more than anybody else. Because doctors then talk to their clients, their patients, and spread the news. Unfortunately, we have been trained to spread lies. Well, now it's time to reverse this and start making some sense and speaking the truth. Many people who are on self -healer pro who use self healers protocol, uh, they experience uh, weight loss. Now, of course, there are several reasons for it. Number one, the process of cellular hydration and process of cleansing is very energy demanding. Production of potassium inflammation that's all uh, accelerates heart rhythm everything here 
is very much energy demanding. So you will need energetic food. On top of this, people stop, or they should stop, not all do, consuming processed uh, carbohydrates. Another thing, frequently I'm being reminded that I talk against, against carbohydrates and I recommend the banana shake. I'm not against carbohydrates, I'm against processed and cooked carbohydrates, the type of carbohydrate that you can actually absorb. The carbohydrate from nature that you have not been mingling with, you didn't break it, you didn't break the shell of a seed, you didn't heat up the cellulose of a seed or of a, uh, whatever carbohydrate, potato, uh, carrot, uh, yucca, roots, then you don't have access to carbohydrate. You have access only to cellulose, which you cannot digest because carb is within it. So good luck, it goes out. Again, nutritionists have no clue about it, doctors even less, because we are being told lies. Well, time to get to the truth. When you use protocol, high demand of energy, and you change your diet, so now you are not taking let's say, any more glucose. So how do we eat normally, no? what we call normally? You have a steak, sizable steak, which is usually overdone. So it is shoe leather. And what you get from it is a little bit of fat that you can squeeze out because it cannot be digested. And then you have a big plate of rice or potatoes, pasta, which actually is your energy. So now, in a protocol, you take this pasta away, and what people do? They don't increase the meat portion, and many of them don't even, they may be cooking it a little less, but still it's overdone, and they replace the pasta and whatever with big salad. So now, no energy is coming in. <laughs> raw salad is zero energy, zero. Or a little bit oil that you put on, maybe you get that. So this is why when you eat salad, okay, put some cheese on it, put some mayo on it, homemade mayo, of course, that's eggs. And uh, some strips of meat, preferably fatty meat, bacon, gives you taste to the salad. Caesar salad, I love Caesar salad. And it's full of Bacon, well done, but a lot of, of, of fat from bacon is there, and uh, bacon is crispy and cut in small pieces as a flavoring. And then pieces of raw, almost raw meat is bled inside. Could be chicken, could be uh, um, seafood, some clams, some shrimps, and then fish. And this is this is now food, but again, we put a little bit of this and huge amount of lettuce and things. Well, vegetables, when it's raw, do, does not digest. So what happens? It creates gas. And people feel bad. They call me, I don't know, your food here, I'm full of gas. So what are you eating? You oh, have a big salad and I have my chicken leg. Well. Just eliminate the salad garbage and just put half a chicken or whole chicken in front of you. So you have the chicken leg that is supposed to represent the meat and then you have the rest of the chicken that represents the potatoes. Because meat and carbohydrates have exactly the same caloric value. Fat of an animal has more than twice the caloric value. So if you are eating correctly on a protocol, and you are losing weight, which means that the energy, the, the amount of 
fat that you are eating and protein is low. The easiest is to increase the amount of fat because you increase the amount of fat a little bit and it's better than doubling your portion of meat and easier on the digestion because remember once when you if you don't take enough fat and you are taking amino acids because protein breaks in amino acids when the amino acids enter the intestinal wall in the reactor some of them will be used for production of cholesterol whatever but whatever cannot be used there amino acids don't just go into the blood there is no reason but it never does what it uh, doesn't have to do so it will not put amino acids there there is no demand why should it put it there so what happens it is going to continue breaking them and transforming them into fats and produce triglyceride and then triglyceride goes out as food so you will need quite a bit this is why you need quite a bit more of protein to have same caloric value because you need more protein to create a unit of fat which then can be broken down in the process of energy production so that's your middleman so it's easier just to take fat eat chicken skin with a little fat on it eat skin of the fish because right layer between this, between the skin and the meat that's a layer of fat so eat correctly don't pick and choose and you know I, I don't like fat I want well, if you don't like fat then you need whole chicken if you eat the skin especially skin of the neck it's delicious fatty so skin is the first thing I eat on a chicken and then I pick a little bit of the as raw close to the bone meat I can get we have to learn how to eat correctly at least how to optimize our food while eating incorrectly okay we can sear the meat we can lightly cook it but then we have to learn which part to eat and which part yeah, if you're not that hungry give this to a dog when we eat raw the only food that we can actually benefit from is animal and animal products so here comes milk and milk products and then the animal itself from worm to elephant anything goes insects especially worms are loaded with fat this is why in the jungle here the big fatty worms they are like my pinky like this big they live in um, palms and they are delicacy for natives okay I didn't try it but this is basically little head and the rest is pure fat of course you eat a couple of those phew, you have energy for the whole day but to me what moves in my mouth uh, I, I don't really like it so I tried I tried uh, some uh, ants big ones and small ones and again when you squeeze them Mm, a lot of fat comes in your mouth and then you spit the rest you just suck the fat this is why you have many animals that live on ants even bear likes to eat them if he breaks down and finds uh, termites phew, he will gulp them up they are full of energy but since we are not really keen to this type of a food then we just have to learn how to eat properly and only raw meat gives you 100% nourishment whatever you cook whatever coagulates you can discard it it's lost goods so when you're on a protocol 
if you are losing weight and you don't want to lose anymore. Many people are obese, so they are happy. I have many clients who use the protocol just simply because they could not lose weight. I have a dear friend of my wife, also Venezuelan, who was battling with weight all her life. And even after talking to me, start once and gave it up, no, I can't, I cannot do this, until diabetes showed up. And they said, uh oh. And what happens? Now she has no more weight problem and no diabetes. We just have to eat correctly. And then if you get to the point that you don't want to lose any more weight, but I recommend first time around, try to lose as much weight as possible because a lot of toxic material is stored with your fat from times when you were eating incorrectly. So try to get as much of this old fat out, use it. As you are using it, you are detoxing because also the garbage comes out and is being cleansed. And then as soon as you are clean, there will be less, much less energy necessary for cleansing. And if you continue eating in the same way, you start gaining weight all of a sudden without increasing the portion. But if you don't want to go there and you got one weight that you don't want to go less than this, then start increasing the level of fat. Put more eggs. Eggs are fatty. And a lot of people are just putting, you know, two fractions. Once they don't want fat and they just eat the egg white protein. And now another ones who really don't want the protein, they just want fat. No, use the whole egg. Don't be picky. It's a good stuff. It's perfect food, but raw. Put, mix it with milk, add banana for taste, Pyo! it's delicious. Arm it with a little bit of coconut oil and you have the banana shake. Perfect food. Have two of those. Put six eggs in if you are losing weight. Normally, I, it's programmed with two eggs because just to give you enough energy and give you all the proteins that your body will require for healing process. But if you want to stop losing weight and gaining weight in the middle of the process, just load up on eggs. Six, eight, ten eggs, twelve eggs. I have a friend here, after surgery, he was putting eighteen eggs twice a day. Well. These are extremes, but four to six eggs. If when I have a really um, taste for egg um, and uh, I want it warm, I don't have less than six eggs, six, eight eggs, and just put them on a butter, slowly on low heat melted, put my eggs, put those eggs in there, put sea salt. Wait until it starts showing white on the bottom. As soon as it starts showing white and it's starting to coagulate, uh, I start mixing them. Actually, my lovely wife does it for me. And she starts mixing them and makes soup out of it, which is a little bit of the whitish coagulated protein, but very soft, a little bit of it. And the rest is all liquid of yellow and still not coagulated white. It's very tasty, it's delicious. And this is how I eat my six or eight eggs. Eating less, I mean, there's nothing. <laughs> I'm used to fill my stomach. So that's how I eat. Very simple. I'm being asked to make videos strictly on what to eat, how to eat. Well, uh, I will try to find help of my wife, but it is, uh, we are very busy and uh, I just take glimpses of time I have to record quick something and I don't even edit it. Uh, this is why you see mistakes there. Sorry for this. I just don't have the time to play with that. But information is the most important and uh, this is the treasure. Just start thinking. 
Nature is healthy. Why? Because they don't play with the food as they find it, the way they eat it. So, if you are in doubt what to eat, just think of it. If I found it in nature, would I eat it the way it is? If yes, try. If it gives you gas, yeah, it was not supposed to be eaten. When you eat raw meat, you don't even know you have intestines or stomach. Observe and think. That's how we learn. Forget about books. Forget about he said, she said. Forget what I say. I'm just saying so you, to urge you to activate your brain so you can do your thinking. Thank you for being here. Till next time. Love you all.